Namaste, Star Family. Welcome to this pick a card in honor of the 1111 portal. So, vintage 2024, creating heaven on earth. We're going to have a couple of piles, and I am still settling in my new home and environment. So, I will use the tarot cards for the association of the zodiac sign if that's something that you want. So, let's first look at the piles okay for creating heaven on earth all right and there okay so three piles let's see what we have pile number one we have humor laugh at yourself lighten your heart and let nothing steal your happiness beautiful card Pile number two, we have the card of power. Call upon the elements. Focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. Some of you, if you've never worked with dragon energy, it's very much connected to your breath, any type of breath work, and it supports the um, upgrade of the part of the brain that is called the reptilian brain, the survival brain, um, and that's really the ascended master version of our brain how we evolve last but not least pile number three we have happiness wow immense delight can be found in the smallest of things cultivate fluttering moments of joy beautiful cards now if some of you want to pick according to your zodiac placement you can do your zodiac uh, sun sign, I was called to suggest your north node, okay, where you are called to head uh, towards in this lifetime. So let's see what we have. But again, you can use also your intuition and whatever card um, feels attractive, <laughs> attractive to you. Interesting. Okay. There we go. All right, so pile number one, we have Libra, oh, interesting, 11-11 <laughs> energy here, okay, and we have Capricorn, we also have Aquarius, and we have Virgo, okay, so pile number one, let me see if I can do something about this <laughs> setting here. I do not have my stand also for my computer. So we're doing with what we have. And that's part of the journey. <laughs> okay, let's see for pile number two. The signs are Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Cancer. And pile number three, we have Aries and Gemini, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, there we go. Let's get those messages for creating heaven on earth. I will see you there. Namaste, pile number one. Welcome to your pick a card reading for this 1111 portal, vintage 2024. You chose the humor card for creating heaven on earth, or you may have chosen according to your zodiac placement. I suggested your north north, north okay. <laughs> yeah. Your North Node, there you go. You're already starting with this humor. Um, but again, you can choose according to whatever placement you want. We have Virgo, Aquarius, of course, Aquarius had to be there, um, Capricorn, and Libra. Let's put those cards aside. Okay. And let's get more messages about you creating heaven on earth. So I was called to use the um, Dreams of Gaia Tarot. That's one deck that I love to tap into the collective subconscious mind or just the subconscious aspect of ourselves. Okay, we already have 
the cars I want to come through here. Okay, I do feel there's two aspects of this. So we're going to put them aside. Yeah, this is interesting. I feel like there is some type of reorganization. Maybe certain things that happened in your life made you uh, have to reorganize your thoughts, your actions, maybe plans. Okay. All right. Might be a bonus card here. We'll see. Very interesting setting, I have to say <laughs> again. <laughs> Not sure. Not sure what's going on. Is that how you're feeling? We'll see. Okay. Let's first get started with this. Okay. So let's look at this pile. We have Archaea Purity. Cleanse and detoxify. Mmm. I love this energy. As, as if you're being called to bring more source energy into your physical vessel to bring more space for humor, whatever could be creating chaos in your life. You know, this 1111 portal this year is very much, uh, you know, oriented towards creating peace, resolving because it's part of the new moon and Scorpio cycle, uh, the process of shedding the layers that we're not, um, but especially resolving our own inner wars and the ones that we inherited, you know, the conflicts we we just were born in the midst of. So I don't know why, but I, I feel I want to share this with you. Ah, what was it that we, I, I can't remember <laughs> what type of pain I was experiencing. Yeah, I think it was when I was on the road and when you travel, you know, sometimes you can't eat exactly uh, the food that are ideal. And I have a very, very sensitive uh, stomach. And I remember that I had no, you know, um, medication or anything to take to help the stomach ache. And I just started to meditate and imagining that I was pulling source energy into the uh, parts of my stomach that were hurting. Okay. Um, and it, it worked. I was like, you know, that was like my only <laughs> medicine uh, while traveling. And I was like, you know what, I'm just, I don't know where it came from, but I just felt I would try and it worked. So some of you, there might be something about, um, how your physical body is reacting to some of the collective energy that you might want to address through, uh, bringing some of that source energy into the places um, and spaces that need more support, okay? Let's see the dragon energy with the earth dragon. Clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing. You can move forward in life. So definitely here, it could be especially connected to um, the water, I'm saying water, even though it says earth. So things that have manifested in our reality and you have are being called to move the waters. I would suggest for you, I took already and got ready with my pen and paper. Uh, <laughs> um, use the quantum fascia playlist. Okay. I feel as some of you, uh, it could help. There's something about removing the numbness in the emotional waters or, you know, if you've tried in the past to ignore certain of the things that were going on outside, it's saying like tap into it. That might not feel comfortable, but there is probably some type of wisdom, especially with the emetite. I don't know. I feel like you're meant to uh, learn a very personal way to channel uh, how to protect yourself from negativity. I'm saying this because of uh, maybe the EMF, uh, the, the emetite is very much connected or, you know, onyx, those very dark crystals. Um, they can help with negativity. They can absorb it and, and you know, just then clear it uh, out of your field. I feel that there's something that you're learning with the purification, the earth dragon and the pathway. Uh, to support you to make space for more joy, for more delight, for more happiness through humor. 
I don't know, some of you, maybe you have a tendency like to use also sarcasm or anything like this. There's going to be a greater way um, that is being created for you through this portal. And you have the two of earth, very much about balance, yin and yang, give and receive, and union. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know why, but <laughs> I feel like I'm... I'm being called to uh, to do some type of like geometry here. You know what? When I said this and I was going to see like a square, use square boxing breathing. Okay. So for example, inhale three, one, two, three. Okay. Then hold three seconds. Then excel three seconds. Then hold empty three seconds and then repeat. You can start to increase as you feel comfortable, you can, you know, start anywhere as far as the time. You can just do one second, hold one second, whatever you feel comfortable. But I feel that there's something about uh, maybe feeling boxed or feeling um, that you can't get out of a certain um, pattern that is going to be supported through breath work. Okay, and we're going to follow this guidance. I'm going to need a little more space here for creating this, this geometry. Wow, then you can expect joy. Prioritize play and pleasure. This card came up in the Mars in Leo reading. So some of you, there might be something about this reading, which I'm going to, I'm going to um, post this for you uh, in the description box. There could be something about your personal Mars placement. Mars is the tower card. Let me see. I think I have it here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. That's like a, a lightning that is hitting an edifice. That's hitting a tower. That's a symbol of your nervous system. That's what creates you to build yourself up or build yourself down. Okay. But sometimes we have to recreate ourselves. So whatever... Is right now needs to be recreated for you. Pile number one is definitely um, something that is going to allow more humor, is going to allow more joy. Might have been, you know, um, certain patterns of giving and receiving. Maybe there was imbalance of giving and receiving. Some of you may through patterns uh, of wanting to please others, to overgive. But now it seems that you're in a place energetically to bring union in your yin and in yin. Uh, that could be something also you might want to uh, work with is the yin yang playlist. If you have a hard time, some of you, for example, if you have a hard time receiving, work with the yin frequency. It's going to help you understand the principles of the yin. This is a playlist where, you know, I uh, infuse with certain frequencies all the yin organs and the vertebrae. It's super powerful, you guys. This is something that I'm highly <laughs> devoted and passionate about is music technology, music that can help you heal and ascend. Some of you, if you don't have a uh, few have access to this but don't have access to the 33 vertebrae there's a lot of similar um downloads and codes that i'm using so 33 vertebrae for the ones that have access to this okay that's going to help you i feel especially for the ones that are trying to find humor or have a hard time finding humor in certain situations they have a hard time letting go um, that would be super useful to work with the 33 vertebrae. We have then the royal blue and gold dragon. Strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. Beautiful. This is, this is interesting. It feels that for you, pile number one, this 1111 portal does require for you to uh, clear the path, detoxify from the old ways maybe you've already overcome, but there's like a last stretch. Uh, also, as this portal 1111 uh, reverbs with the numerology because it comes with the 
symbolism of the number one, but also the number two. Okay, and that means um, making sure you're unified and you're towards the end of this year. So there might be a last stretch of clearing your fascia, of clearing those waters, creating more space for joy and for laughter, and that's going to give you power. Uh, from a place of authenticity, from a place of your true self, from a place of wisdom, from a place of someone that has done the work, okay? Then we have, wow, the ace of pentacles, the ace of earth. There's a new creation. You're creating a new, there's a new seed. Are you planting something new? We'll see about that. Let's see. Wow, a new self, authenticity, the authentic self. Look at this. I'm feeling the pattern here, and we're going to close off with this dragon energy. The air dragon helps you rise above earthly matters. Communicate honestly, brings inspiration and hope. See life from a higher perspective. I love how... Those dragons were very uh, elemental. I would say, okay, so some of you, if you like to work with mudra, I would suggest working with, in particular, the earth and the air, okay? Earth is the ring finger with your thumb, and air is the index. That could really be helpful if some of you like to work with this. Earth is going to be anything that has to do with the materialization, things that are already manifested, that are already physically materialized. And air is everything that has to do with communication, your thought patterns, your mind. So creating for you heaven on earth, my dear pile number one, comes from this place of purifying whatever already has been your experience. How this experience has affected your emotions, your cellular water, making sure that you're balancing give and take, making sure that you're feeling in union between your own feminine and masculine, your intention, intuition, and your rational mind. This is going to create more of a fun, I'm, I'm feeling like almost like a fun game to play, you know, let's play Ascension. <laughs> Maybe a part of yourself is able to connect back to your higher self and say, you know, I remember now my contract. I wanted to like experience this and this. So this is cool. You know, I don't know why. <laughs> why am I <laughs> mentioning here? But okay, this is what I'm seeing. Um, and through this process, there's a certain mastery. There's a certain mastery of the process that you're channeling for yourself, purification, you know, uh, because through life, the only thing you can get as a guarantee is change, okay? So being able to go through changes with grace, with wisdom, and that's creating the seed for a higher version of yourself that has maybe a different way uh, of communicating their heart's uh, desire. It feels like a lot of peace here. Some of you, maybe you have a purpose and a role in communicating or being an advocate for this energy of heaven on earth, of peace, bringing peace. And I feel that especially peace within. Peace through a special um, process that is particularly yours, especially when I'm connecting to the blue rose. The blue rose is always, for me, a symbol of, um, you know, um, sacred knowledge, and secret knowledge, something that you may have inherited as part of your ascension, as part of your uh, soul lineage, your star connection. If I had to um, advise a reading for you, because for some reason I, I felt it when I said star connection, it would be the star seed activation reading. You guys, I'm some traveling and I'm still moving uh, into my new home and getting furnitures and everything. Um, I only have this week like five spots for a reading. So um, if that's something that is needed for you at this time to support this portal, um, you can check it out in the description box. Okay, that's what I have for you, my dear pile number one. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light.
Namaste. Namaste, pile number two. Welcome to your 1111 portal picker card reading and guidance. You chose the beautiful power card. Call upon the elements, focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. If you chose according to your zodiac sign, you can do obviously your sun sign, but I was uh, you know, reminded that the north node in this case, as you're heading towards a direction in your life, especially this is a portal reading, um, you might want to look at your north node. But again, you can listen to more than one message. We have here the Hierophant with Taurus, the Death card for Scorpio. I'm going to put them aside. The Chariot for Cancer and the Temperance for Sagittarius. Okay. So let's get those messages for you, pile number two, to create heaven on earth. It was very interesting um, the way pile number one had this whole little format. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very open-minded about what can occur now. <laughs> it could be the same or not. We'll see. Right now, I feel a very similar pattern, but again... Again. Okay. Okay. All right. So far, similar. <laughs> That's a lot, but we're going to put this here and this one there. Okay. So let's see what we have first for you, pile number two. We have Archangel Ragiel with Nourish Your Relationships. Interesting. Okay, the relationships. I am being called, this is very interesting, to remember that the North Node currently is in the angles of the zodiac number two. So that means not from zero to five degree of Aries, but five to 10. And this is all about relationships. So there's something about the North Node and I mentioned it at the beginning for you. So definitely that's a confirmation. Please pile number two for you. Going towards your North Node is important. And there's something about the mirrors of your relationship that is at play. I'm hearing this type of concept about, you know, your vibration is the result of the five people you hang out with. You know, that's like, there's something about your circle. Mm -hmm. Then you have Source Dragon. Attunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence. Magic can happen. Be in the moment. Wow. Wow. Right away, what I feel for you is that part of this power message is your connection to your spirit team. Yeah. There was some messages. I feel this energy of Mars and Leo for you. I already um, put it in the description box below for pile number one. So if that's something that calls you as far as your relationship and how maybe your nervous system allows you to create more of your potential, go and check out that reading. There's something there. I feel that there's certain clues for you to create heaven on earth that are meant to bring power. And what the universe wants you to connect and especially nourish are the relationship to spirit. Yeah. I would say divination could be really uh, of great support at this time. I'm going to add in the, um, in the description box, some of you, if you are part of the Starseed or the Goddess Rise Up YouTube Star membership, Nyx, the Goddess of the Night. She loves divination. Uh, tools and she is in Scorpio. We have the Scorpio archetype as part of this 
So I felt her energy here. There might be something for you there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have the king of fire. Wow. Okay. Pile number two. Your relationship to spirit. Your meditative practice. Your magic rituals are part of what brings you power. It not only brings you power, it ignites. It ignites you. It ignites certain ideas that you are meant to manifest. Look at all this yellow. With the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Fire, it ignites in you a certain passion. This is probably why I was feeling Mars and Leo here. Do you see this? <laughs> Very strong yellow energy. Mars is connected to the solar plexus. Leo obviously um, has that yellow color and invitation. Mm. But you know, Leo is connected to the sun. Okay, so sun energy also. Yeah. There's something that happened through the 8-8 eight, eight portal because this is a portal energy. I'm going to add also the portal of the 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, some of you, if you have maybe certain messages because there's something you've been weaving since the summer times. You've been weaving a certain magic, my dear ones. You've been weaving uh, with your angel team, with source, God, the universe, something that has given you power. You probably worked with magic. We have all the elements here and source energy. I wouldn't be surprised you're working with uh, certain practices, ancient knowledge. And some of you, if you don't think you are, you might be doing this subconsciously. All right, let's continue your activation to create heaven on earth, my dear pile number two. The guardian angel, I knew this was coming up. This, this was one of the cards for uh, Mars and Leo. This is so incredible. So incredible. So incredible. You're, you are meant to walk this path in faith. Walk the path and the path will reveal itself. You know, there's something about, yes. Walk the way and the way will reveal itself. Very cryptic, very, <laughs> you have a very interesting energy pile number two. I have to tell you, I love it. Very mysterious. Oh, yeah, again, that's Scorpio energy. <laughs> you, you, you are kidding me. I didn't, I never pick, pick this card ever. I've had this deck for years. Sunshine, yellow dragon. What helps you to help animals? Serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. This beautiful little deer energy, raven or crow, and this um, blue jay. So there's something about your communication. Maybe some of you, part of your angel team and your spirit team is the animal kingdom. Yeah, you probably have also part of your creating heaven on earth is to help animals. There's some type of purpose with animals. Then you have the eight of earth, the eight of pentacles. There's a certain self-mastery. There's a certain abundance that comes from you being invested with Gaia and its animals beautiful i feel that it's also because you know um when you're working with the elements you're also being called to give back to serve you're calling in so much energy uh dear pile number two as far as creating this potential for everything to thrive on earth 
that it's already asking you to give back in certain ways. Some of you, I don't know why, but I saw you picking up uh, plastic bottles on the beach or in the forest, anything that has to do with, you know, helping the planets, the animals not get tangled or polluted. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to give you a lot of support and not just from humans. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look at this six of water. My God, the generosity that is coming to you and through you, those small, small acts of service and giving of your time and energy is part of your magic formula. It's part of your magic trick. It's part of your rituals. Yeah, my gosh, I love what I'm feeling. Please, if that's you, g drop me a little sun or a little yellow heart, I will know it's you. I love when I do this and I see those symbols. Thank you so much for indulging in <laughs> my little, little uh, you know, signals and say hi. But I love when I, I see those little emojis being dropped. So yellow sun or yellow heart, I will understand, or both, obviously. Um, let's continue. I can't review pile number two, source. Return to oneness. Look at this, this heaven you're creating really feels, some of you, I mentioned it to pile number one and I'm going to mention it to you. I do have a starseed activation reading. Some of you, there's something about your connection to a star system in particular. Currently, I only have Orion, the Pleiades, um, and Cyrus, but I will add soon other places, you know, as I am settling. I only have this week as I'm channeling this like five spots, but yes, there's, I'm, I'm picking up on, you know, like this, 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 this angelic star being here, potential for this to manifest. This is beautiful. Thank you for your services here. Definitely. And then we have, oh, <laughs> oh my God. It's like, how can you like pull so many cars in the same concept? Omega Dragon harnesses the divine feminine power of creation. Intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness with this type of blue energy. Wow. You're definitely here, pile number two. You are supported. You are guided. Like literally, the I would even add the plant kingdom, the you know crystal kingdom, the animal kingdom. All the elements are part of your spirit team, and you know this. This is part of how you create your magic. Some of you may have like you know you're creating sacred geometry in the earth. Uh, you're creating a uh, beautiful edifice uh, or even ju crystal jewelry, or whatever. And it's creating a certain magic, a certain composition that allows you to channel more of source energy. And as you do this, you reverb this and activate this to and in others. This is so beautiful. I'm seeing this, this, this type of like, you know, relationship I give, I take, I, I'm receiving, I'm opening up, I serve. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know if there's anything else to mention here for you, pile number two. Yeah, no, I, I feel this is very much complete. This 1111 portal is just here to activate a deeper connection to source through your understanding of how you're not just supported by your relationship and your opportunities. You're working with all layers of elements. Source energy is very present in your life. So please honor it with your rituals. This is going to give you so much in return as you also express small acts of kindness and gratitude on a daily basis. You see how similar this small heart is to this bigger heart. Um, you're channeling a uh, source through your heart, very heart centered. And this is going to help you to create, to tap into what the divine feminine uh, at, the, at a soul level, your oneness, you know, um, would want to manifest. There's a lot of balancing of the masculine and feminine that brings the omega power. Wow. 
I'm mind blown. <laughs> I dropped the mic. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what is this message? I love it. So thank you so much, my dear pile number two. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Namaste, pile number three. Welcome to your pick a card reading in honor of the 1111 portal, vintage 2024. Okay, so we have here the card of happiness. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy beautiful energy. And if you chose your card according to your zodiac placement, we have here Gemini with the lover's cards, Aries with the emperor, Leo with the strength, and Pisces with the moon. I strongly suggest you look at your north node, but again, you can watch more than one. Okay. Let's see what we have. I have to say so far, I've been mind blown. I am loving those guidance messages for creating heaven on earth. I did not know at all what to expect. Not that I was expecting anything like, <laughs> like ever. Okay. So we have to go with this. We have to. Okay. There's a lot, but there's one here, there's one there, and there's a bonus card. I don't know why, but I feel like this is the, the beginning. It's almost like with this energy, when I say the beginning to get to the end, um, maybe an end to a cycle that were, was keeping you, pile number three, to access a level of happiness, a level of gratitude, a level of enjoyment, like something that was... Uh, almost like fleeting. Let's see those messages, okay? What was this energy? And I'll tell you, um, astrologically, I feel it might be re related to your natal Neptune placement. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying this, um, but I definitely feel it. So we start here with this death and rebirth. And then we have the crone. And then we have the king of air. Okay, there was something here for you, pile number three, that you had to go through in terms of karma. There was a certain wisdom that at a soul level you knew you could not reach. There is a certain truth. There is a certain higher truth that only through being reborn in this lifetime through whatever other lifetimes, okay, that you could only achieve and be reborn this time in a time and place where you could finally manifest the happiness that you longed for. Yeah, I, I really feel here um, the path of some type of warrior, some type of, um, you know, alchemist or so some type of karmic chain breaker, someone that really had to go through a lot of deep a soul searching, especially with this gateway here, you know. I wouldn't be surprised also that you're part of channeling a certain wisdom from another star constellation. I posted in the description box below for uh, pile number two and number one, if you have access to the Goddess and Starseed Rise Up membership on my YouTube, the Nyx reading, because th th this feels like this is something that your soul planned and aligned with the stars that could be at play here. And some of you, I also would suggest to look into my Starseed activation personal reading. There might be someone that resonates with connecting with a particular star system because there's something here a certain truth i'm picking up especially orion energy because orion has that that very military very mind control mind focused knowledge that could have had been part of your path and being able to connect deeply to your heart is part of creating this happiness, this heaven on earth, this portal. 
But there's a truth. Let's see how this truth plays out because it seems like it's, it's an intense process that you had to go through, my dear pile number three. Okay, we have the seven of air. Look at this. Deep sacred knowledge with the eight of wands with a phoenix energy. The queen of fire and the father. There's one more card. But let me first channel this. You see, it connects back again to father energy. Orion have this very strong mind power. I feel as some of you, you had to transmute a lot of pain. A lot of pain to be able to tap in this level of happiness. And that's why your message, pile number three, is first to start acknowledging the process that you had to go through and honor. Because you see here, towards the end, this is where your... You, the, you see how dark those cards are to lead you to this happiness, then to light up that spark inside of you? You had to connect to spirit. You had to connect to source. And when you lit up that space within yourself with more light whatever that was that you did okay whether it's for meditative practices yoga through soul searching through journaling through therapy whatever it was you know it reconnected you to your inner light and that gave you such brightness that it ripples into the world yeah that last card is the queen of earth. A queen that manifests abundance. A queen that is able to maintain stability. I feel like some of you, yeah, maybe you had to go through a lot of chaos with this rebirth and the crone. Um, being able to challenge your own ego self to be reborn every time. Yeah, that, that's like, you know, those cards are the dreams of Gaia Tarot. I really feel like I'm tapping with this pile number three into spiritual warrior, the wounded healer archetype, people that really had to uh, find within themselves not only the light, but the way, the way to access to manifest stability, groundness, steadfastness, and abundance for their own resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were guided, though. You were guided. Some of you, have, you have a lot of spirit guys. And with that, some of you, you need to know, okay, because you have to look at your chart here. The seventh house is usually associated to marriage, to relationship. But when you work with esoteric astrology, the seventh house is your relationship between your lower, aka ego self, and your higher self. When you have a lot of placement in the seventh house, that means you're going to learn a lot through this process of uh, facing your own ego. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the first part that needs to be acknowledged for you to create heaven on earth. I did not expect such intensity, but that intensity is exactly what is going to help you to manifest this greater dream for you. I don't know why I said dream. There's something about your goal. There's a goal in particular. There's a goal in particular you came here to achieve. Let's see. Very different pile. Very. A lot of contrast energy here. I can feel it. And I feel I want to have another card from this deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have love. 
Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. Wow. There could have been a lot of heart wounds. And again, um, that relates a little bit to the seventh house in more Western or regular astrology where, you know, relationships are at play. Maybe you had wounds. I would say if you have a Chiron in a seventh house or eighth house, um, that would be even more for you as a resonance. It doesn't have to be, but I really feel that when I said your dream, maybe your dream is to find the one, whether you acknowledge this, but this is part of you creating heaven on earth is through love and especially a meaningful relationship. And I want to mention it because some of you, there might be some resistance to admit it because of what we saw before, okay? What you saw before was a lot of transcending and death and rebirth. Couldn't hint also a house energy, but it feels like it comes from um, your relationship to yourself. Then we have clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are and you are love. Wow, I'm not surprised, uh, pile number three, that we had to acknowledge first the type of strength you had to summon to bring that level of happiness, to be able to enjoy the things you are able to enjoy. But now this message with this portal, interestingly, while I was saying all this, it was 1111 on that portion of this reading. So very strong energy and confirmation for you that this portal, this particular portal is here to give you even greater access and rewards to extend already what you've manifested and manifested more uh, with others, especially in a romantic partnership, but it doesn't have to be just this. It might be just, you know, living in peace and in happiness with others, with yourself, more self-love. You are love. You are love. Even though, you know, you had to embody so much of that warrior energy, wounded healer energy, there's this, this, this guidance here that you can um, let go of, uh, <laughs> let go, rest the, the swords down, okay? Then we have leap. Wow, spread your wings. You're, you're going to enter a very, very different energy with this portal. Something, it, it's like a new direction, it feels very, again, the contrast, it's almost like who you are and who you were just this year and who you are going to be next year it is a total different lifestyle, character, persona, you know, uh, even like living situation for some of you. I don't know, it might be a move towards a new continent, a new home. And then we have the earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance. You're not going to believe it. Of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your visions, manifest your hopes and dreams. Like what? <laughs> this is so beautiful. I am so happy for you, pile number three. Believe it. It's coming your way. This is like what you're leaping towards. This is, this is something you had to learn through all those contrasted experiences, through all your battles that this heaven on earth is manifesting for you. Okay, we have Archangel Shamria. Be what you want to attract. I would say... Uh, if you have some resistance with this, work with my law of attraction uh, frequency, my dear ones, okay? I created this frequency not just for relationship because, you know, of like the, it was like my, um, how do you call this? Uh, when you repulse each other, like when you, like you're total opposites, when you're, you want something, but you're holding a vibration that repels it. Um, it, the mantra Om Mani Padme Um is very purifying and very powerful in this frequency and the, the sound knowledge that I weave into it. So you can work with this. Mm -hmm. If you like to work with mudras, 
you could work with the earth and the air. Earth is your ring finger with the thumb and the air is your index finger with the thumb, okay? Yeah, I really feel that it's going to help you uh, manifest this in greater ways, becoming this. And you know what? I, I'm noticing the arch and that's something I, I know um, that is strong in this pie let me see i can remember i think you had gemini here this is um this is definitely an energy that is going to take a leap in sagittarius season yeah oh air and fire this time if you want to add the fire you have to um Put the thumb over the ring finger. It expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Okay, some of you, there might have been a dream about not just a relationship, but the things that you really love doing. Through Sagittarius season, uh, as this portal is occurring, we're still in Scorpio season, but as it you know expands and you're entering this gateway and you're hearing this message, embody the energy that you want to manifest, the whole division of your dreams. This is going to be the season. You're going to have a lot of um, energy towards this creation. I'm, I'm, I'm also receiving like um, the same guidance that you receive to go through the hardships. You're going to receive also for the fun times, for the happy times. Remember this. Last but not least, we have creation. Remember your thoughts they shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. I feel like you're going to have so much more uh, wisdom and awareness of the law of creation through the laws of the universe, working with the law of attraction. I really am enjoying this 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 almost like this process that you've gone through, and I feel like I'm tapping into. Um, this new phase for you where things are going to almost like taste more uh, richer and fuller, not necessarily because of money or the material aspect, even though I'm not saying it's not happening, but it's like, it's, it's something that only the ones that have gone through this type of path that we saw at the beginning can really feel the weight and the and the rewards, it's just like, it's just something, I, I can't explain it, it's something like, you have to experience it, to feel it, and to understand it, and that's where you are, and that's why you're going to have so much happiness coming through this portal as you're entering it, my dear pile number three, I'm sending you many blessings, and much love and light, namaste.